season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time, always gonna be the best. Come on. Exclusively on the Herd App Media Network. You can text us um, at 402-403-9478, just like Jenny did. Um, she said, listening to JT talk about getting a text from a realtor, which... Yes! <laughs> Wasn't a we realtor. Think? It's a, a 13 year old in India <laughs> trying to steal her identity. Anyway, a uh, realtor about selling her home. I received one the other day and they used my father in law's first name and his address. Oh, wow. that's a nice one. Uh, at first, I thought it was the wrong number because it's a common first name until I noticed the address looked very similar. We didn't even live in the area, it didn't even live in the same state as my father in law. Mm. And my phone number has never been associated with his address. Super Whoa. creepy. Yeah. Super creepy. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, yeah, <laughs> it is very, very, the, the idea of safety online. Uh, you know, what's interesting is I'm listening to a podcast right now called unraveled and, um, it's only, I think it's only in its third season and season two was either last year or the year before <clears throat> the season three just came out. That's why it, it came to my attention. It, it got dropped in my feed. It is about, uh, the early two thousands. And it is where it's set. And this, this particular story has to do with internet stalking. When the internet was a baby. Oh. And um, all the farther, and and listening to it right now, and I'm just like remembering back to when we first got online, it was, and and people say it all the time, it's the Wild West, and it still is. You know, it's nobody was responsible. Nobody knew what the rules were. You could be anonymous. There were chat rooms. There were live blogs, like Live Journal. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. People could sign up to, to read people's live journals. Um, the, the MySpace thing was a phenomenon. Um, but there, there was very little security. There was no way to verify who anybody was. And you, you, you couldn't make anybody stop doing what they were doing. Mm -hmm. And what this had, the internet stalker that had to do with is, uh, that she found out that the law enforcement discovered, you know, that there was nothing they could do with the online stalking because there was no physical presence in their jurisdiction, there was no law to prevent it. So when somebody was being and, so and it was so scary, we scary. didn't realize we didn't realize how scary it was when we were in that time. No, didn't realize the the not just the, the potential. Impact. Didn't realize the potential of what was what was really happening, and to look down the road a little bit to see mm -hmm. what was going on, what what these people were building towards. What was going to be organized eventually organized crime? Yeah. I mean, but at the time, the story that it tells about was uh, she was in a chat group. And this guy was inappropriate with her, to her or, or, or messaged her. And it was public. So other people saw it. The, admi the admins kicked him out. He thought in his mind she got him kicked out because he was making inappropriate oh, right. suggestions toward her. And um, so that, that was it. That, that just flipped the switch. And he, the race was on. And he was going to stalk her for the next, like, 20 years online. No matter where she went to work. No matter where she moved. And she had nothing to do with it. She didn't know who this guy was. That's crazy. That's she, scary. But she, he did reveal to her that it was his belief that she was the reason he got kicked out of the group and he was going to make her life hell. And then he was just... Whatever like, happened? How did it end up? Fun. I don't know. I'm in episode uh, three. Um, well, <laughs> but, dang it. But the things that, you know, just this is what I've learned so far. And, and also learned that... It wasn't just one, it, it because her name was Veronica, I think it was. Uh, anyway, for the for the storytelling purposes, but there were several Veronicas or Vivian's in that group. Or nope, in his world. Oh, in anybody his world. anybody with that name, he went after. Oh, ooh, really weird. So there were dozens. She she felt like she was the only one, but come to find out, he was prolific. He nutty. In his stocking. He would send pictures. He would send threats. He would mock up web, web pages or emails and send them to her employer saying that she was harassing him. Gosh. She got That's fired. scary that you just never know what, you never know what's, what's going to set somebody off. Not just stalking, but just yeah. in general. You just never know you what's going to set someone off. I preach that to the kids all the time. You know, Bennett always talks a lot of crap about, I'm going to be, he, he honked at me and I'm going to, you know, and er, skills. I'm like, dude, you just never know what kind of day the other person's having. Not even that. You yeah. just don't know what's going on. No. And you make one stupid decision where you say the wrong thing or look wrong at the, and it doesn't make you a weakling. It just makes you smart. Just be aware. That you, just don't, you never it's not know worth it. You never know what's going to trip someone up. Right? It's just, and it's just not so worth So don't, don't make it easy for them. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, yeah, so it was, it's really, really good. It's very well told. Um, 
scripted, obviously, but they've got some of the main players are actually taking part in the podcast, telling the story. That's awesome. Um, Terrifying, but I'm thinking this will turn into a movie. I hope so. (laughs) At least I hope. Or a short series or something on Netflix. I don't know. Connie Britton. Right? Yes, please. (laughs) Uh, This text is from LJ. It says, finally, let's take a dive. It's coming. All exclamation points. Your podcast, finally. (laughs) It's only been in pre-production like freaking The Sopranos. (laughs) 19 months. (laughs) Uh, yes, 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 yes. It's too, is it, it's too late for this year, but an episode where you go to Squirrel Cage Jail, Flashlight Tour would yeah. be the coolest. Ooh. So excited. Much anticipation. Ooh. Yeah. That's a good idea because you know what? The co-host would really enjoy that. And the co-host knows the people at the Squirrel Cage. See? So there you go. LJ, good suggestion. So thank uh, you. Problem is you have to do it like at 2.30 in the afternoon because I think, don't you go to bed early? Well, yeah, I very rarely go out after dark. Um, but <laughs> yeah, so whatever. We'll do the the lunchtime special. It's, yeah, we'll it's do. still creepy because I when I went there, it was the middle of the day when I went there, and I was I, I got the like the private tour, so to speak, because I was the only one. I think after dark might even be almost too much. It might too be, much like for me. It might just be. For, just too much going on. I can't imagine because I think we have a, a couple of the girls are going to be going to Massachusetts, isn't it, to Salem? In I October? think so. Yeah. Um, that that one of them has a podcast um, that you'll be hearing more about soon. And anyway, they're going to go to Salem for Halloween uh, festivities. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's going to be crazy. And then um, we we were told we told her about Valeska as well, and she's like, "Oh, because yeah. she's not from here." So that's another day trip. There was a video, and I wish I'd saved it. Maybe I liked it on, on TikTok so I could save it. I hope you did. <laughs> but it was a, and I don't know, you know, who knows if what this crap, if it's true, if it's something that's made up or whatever, but um, it was a drone footage. Um, it was a news drone, whatever, just flying over. It was in the Pacific Northwest, and it was, you could, all you saw was forest everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, there were no roads, there were no houses, it was just forest. Yeah. But in the middle of the forest, an enormous tree just being shaken. Like, I'm talking a tree probably 70, 80 feet tall. Like, it was a big tree, and it was like somebody had a little sapling and was whipping it around in the middle of this this forest. Oh, I need to see that. I'll find it. Please. I'll find it. It's, it's, it was crazy, and it was just going back and forth and twisting and back and forth. Oh, my God. And there was no other trees around it moving. I want to see that. Whoa. Yeah, it was super, see, no, it that, was super that cool. That kind of answers the question. If a tree falls in the forest and no one's around, does anybody hear it? It still falls. <laughs> Wait, this, I, this one didn't fall. It didn't fall, though. Not yet, anyway. I know. Creepy. I want to see that. Okay. Good deal. Yeah, so I'll look for that. I, I Yeah, I'll look for that on TikTok. And if it's there, I'll throw the link in our description. Absolutely. baseball Halloween is back. <laughs> Omaha Storm Chasers in Warner Park coming up on October 22nd. Are we? I mean, we talked to Marty about this. I think it's over 10 years they've been doing this. This is like the the event, and it's back after 2020. I know. Ugh. Right? And like you said, if you want to come out in full costume, bring out the family, it's free. Free admission. The gates open at 5 o'clock. And he says the way they see it, generally they're kind of waves. The younger ones generally come a little earlier and then the older kids a little later. You don't have to do that, though. You can right. come out anytime between 5 and 8. I spend the whole three hours. But you need to RSVP. In the link, there's a link in our description of this podcast. You can mm-hmm. also go on our Facebook page. We shared it there as well. Um, or go to Omaha St- Storm Chasers uh, Facebook page. Click on the link and RSVP. Exactly. And heard that very proud to be a sponsor this year of baseball Halloween, along with a lot of other vendors that are going to be out there and they'll have their little chat ski tables and Pat and I are going to be out there too. And we want to see you. See you guys October 22nd. So online I came across a couple of really weird little things. I don't know what made me think of this one. I think I heard uh, an actor mention it. It might've been like William Shatner maybe made, made mention because he's been in the news lately, you know, about the, the trip to space yeah, and all that stuff. He has, he's on Cameo. And I never really had looked around Cameo to see who was on there. It's so funny. Oh. It's so funny what people... MG. Um... Some of the people that set their prices, it just shows what they what you think. And if they're getting them, if they're getting it, great. But some of these people set their prices like, well, you think a lot of yourself, dude. They like start from you know ninety five dollars, but you go to it and like right. for business, it's like fifteen hundred dollars if you mm-hmm. want to use or it's something else. So some of them that were on there, and I just grabbed a handful. And it, I, why would anybody ever pay <laughs> for a text from somebody? <laughs> that, because you can all you can do is just fake it on you your phone. Just if it. you want to show your friends you got a text from whoever, just fake it. Ask I'll charge you two bucks. I'll fake it for you. You want Not, the video. Yeah, something. The video. So Catherine McPhee Foster, who I haven't thought about for a while. Uh, I saw her and her dad husband um, <laughs> in my feed a couple days her ago. Grandpa husband. Her grandpa husband. 
<laughs> so creepy. <laughs> so she starts from two hundred fifty dollars with twenty four hour turnarounds. And what is it? A video? She does a video. Yeah, twenty four hour from from when it says from uh, two hundred fifty. Let me go back here to the other creatives. Like I found Mark McGrath on here also, and oh, here's Perez Hilton. Perez Hilton is from. Eighty nine dollars. What eighty nine? Eighty nine. Like yes. why eighty nine? That's such personalized a, video for you or someone else. Such so, a random number. Eighty nine. I have no idea because he's a marketer, right? I guess. I guess. I'm not sure how that works. Um, let's see. Where's the other one that was on here? The uh, let me go back over here. Um, Catherine McPhee. We had. Then we had. Oh yes, of course, Vanilla Ice from three ninety nine. Not Jeez. 400. Well, if you get two people a year to pop on that, I'd rather do one. I'd rather do four <laughs> videos a year than sell them for 50 bucks each and do have to do 100. Seriously. You know what I mean? So uh, get Very after good. it, Vanilla. Uh, Gary Busey from 375. Uh, uh, wait, that's worth every that's penny. That's worth it. Mr. T from 499. Uh, okay. Okay. And then some of the other ones on here um, Damon John, he's from 799. Who's that? He's a shark. Oh, oh, got it. Okay. Right. He's a shark. Shaka Khan. From six fifty, that's a deal. It's a steal right there. Richard Dreyfus from seven hundred dollars. Fran Drescher's around seven fifty. See these people, and, and I actually, you know what? I take it back. What I said at the beginning about how they set their prices so high. They they probably don't want to do these, but they're like, well, if somebody's going to pay me eight hundred bucks, I'll do a thirty second video, right? You know, so of course, so I, now I take it that makes sense, yeah. doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Jenna Jameson from nine ninety nine a month for nine hundred ninety nine dollars one time. One time. Nine ninety nine one time. I'll send you guys a link. There's a <clears throat> lot for free out there. You don't need to get a specific video. <laughs> how about let's grab how about Caitlyn Jenner? What do you think she starts at? Um I bet Caitlyn's a grand. Twenty five hundred. Interesting. She doesn't want to do it real bad, but she will if you pay her. Yeah. That's what it hundred percent to, right? Hundred percent. It's just kind of fun to go through some of these and just see they have like influencers. So you got YouTubers, TikTokers, fitness, uh, all these other categories of creators. That are in here that are people that if that's not your thing, you have no idea who they are. And then they've got all of the regular actors, reality TV, athletes, musicians, all that good stuff. Under featured, the new featured ones, Michael Gelman, producer for... Gelman's on there? Yeah, for right? Ka- uh, yeah. Kelly and Michael? Or yes. Michael and no, whoever, Ryan and Kelly? And Kelly, and Kelly. Whoever Kelly and Ryan. Whoever Kelly's with now. He's from 95 Bucks. <laughs> it's just such a random. <laughs> it's so funny. Your buddy Bill Rancic's on here too. Just recently got on. Yeah, he starts at five hundred. Okay, I can see that. So and, and it's also too. It's not, if it's not just a, like a "Hey, what's up?" video, um, I saw one posted in a fan gr- fan group that I'm a part of for Bravo stuff, and somebody had gotten a cameo for their friend for their birth for the friend's mm-hmm. birthday from um, oh god, what's her name? New York Housewives. Uh, not Beth Dorinda. Frankel? No, it wasn't Bethany. It was... Uh, That's the only one I know. I can't remember. It wasn't Dorinda. Who the heck was it? Um, I, I was just going to say it's the one that drinks all the time, but well... <laughs> um, That's Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Isn't she the one with the skinny bitch line? Yes. Yeah, yes. So, yeah. Um, what is her name? I, this is driving me crazy. Go ahead. This is we, one of my favorites. We have time. While, while you're doing that, I'll also tell you that Cameo Santa is on here from a mere $29. Cameo so you can, Santa. You can get a Santa. And he looks, he, he looks very realistic. As far as what the uh, all the portraits say, uh, so that would be that could be kind of a fun one. Which, by the way, since everything's going to be out of stock or price out of range, maybe yeah. that's what you get the kids. Right. <laughs> get ho, a, ho, ho. a Santa video. <laughs> they also had Father Times in here too. That so would be he, hilarious. Which is hilarious, right? And yeah. he, he looks like all the pictures that you see of Father Time. That is super funny. Straight out of Harry Potter, kind of. <laughs> that's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Uh, Sonia. Sonia Morgan. Did not know and that And somebody, okay. somebody got a Sonia Morgan cameo for their friend's birthday. And see, with these, with these girls, you just never know <laughs> when you're gonna when you're gonna hit the cameo DMs and get the request, and if they're in the mood to do it, or if they've been drinking or whatever. So Sonia did one. <laughs> it was supposed to be like a thirty second video. It was like two and a half minutes, and she's sitting on her her deck. It's in the summer, and she's got a bikini on, and she's popped. She's not like slurring, but right. you can tell she's been drinking. And her lawn boy without a shirt is mowing behind her and she's just rambling all over the place. So that right there is worth, I don't know how much hers was. You never know what you can get, right? Right. The money. Yeah. So if you, yeah, you just never know what you're going to get. Might give it a try. Dougie Fresh is on here too. How much is Dougie? Dougie starts at 125. Wow. Yeah. That might be a deal too. So there's there's so many on here. It's fun, it's fun to scan through it because there are pictures and names that I haven't thought of in a long time. 
right? You're like, oh my God, that person's still around. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what they're doing now. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Yeah, so it's kind of fun just to scan through all the pictures. But it might be an idea for a gift. But anyway, I just got to kick out of the fact of how they price themselves. And now yeah. now that we talked about it, it, it kind of makes sense. sense. Yeah. Looking at why they start from. So so like your bill rants at 500, but if it's for business, then it's 1500. So that'd be kind of a fun thing to get though for a business. Mm-hmm. That's kind of a great idea. Yeah, especially him. Well, especially him. Yeah. Yeah, this is true. So anyway, so I saw that one. Are there any like ex-presidents on there? Is, <sighs> is Barack Obama on there or is Trump on there? I doubt it. Uh, no, there's a Barack Adam at, at and some French guy, French okay. rapper. I can't say it was. <laughs> French rapper. That's the only Barack I see. Okay. Um, And I doubt very much there's going to be, there's a Tommy Trump. I don't think that's okay. the same one. Um. No, Don Trump Jr.'s on here. What's he asking? Son of a gun. Let me see. He's asking five hundred bucks for personal, five thousand for business. Okay. Well, hey, help. if he gets it, <laughs> I'm right? like I'm all for it. Yeah. I'm all for it. That's, That's the thing. Crazy. You throw out your price. You just got to make sure you throw out whatever price, whatever you're doing. If you're like you don't want to do it, you throw out a price and they accept it. You're screwed. So make always take what like the most you would ask and then add a little bit more. This is just like what we're talking about price in my house. The next time they call, want, yes. want me to sell my home. Okay, I'll, I'll throw you a number, but I better be serious. Yeah. If they meet it. You're, you're packing up. I'm packing. <laughs> you're, going, you're asking for boxes. <laughs> all right, so there you go. So, all right, so get to your texts at 402-403-9478 or always our DMs are open. And be sure to join us. See, this was, this is on Friday, right? This morning we had our Facebook we had Live. Our Facebook Live every, every Friday. Friday at 9. It's Pat and JT Facebook and YouTube. Pat and JT Podcast. A Huda Media Production.